loves. Welcome to Bree's Project Book. Continuing with my spring cleaning, I'll be sharing with you how I organize my small freezer and my chest freezer for ideas and tips to help you with your freezer organization. As you can see, the freezer needs some help. There is no system of any sort. Every food item I can put in here is just thrown in and form this mess. Here is ready-made meals, soups, boxes of all kinds of sorts with pizzas, steaks, snacks, fries, etc. So we are going to first take everything out of this freezer and we're going to put it away. Then we're going to start fresh with a blank slate. is cleaned out but I need to defrost it there are some ice build up on the sides I will do that and then I will return and we'll get started okay so here is an overview of my organization with bins and baskets the freezer is divided in three layers and I will take you through each layer but first let's talk about what kind of storage and bins I'm using so we have several storage containers for the deep freezer the first bin will store my vegetables. It will sit on the second level of the freezer. The second bin, just like the first one, will store my prepackaged raw meats. The two hanging bins will be for my breakfast items. And the white bins will store some snack or ready-made quick foods. And the small white second bin will store chicken. I love these bins. I purchased them from Ikea. It has a nice top for more protection and a hole on the side for easy handling. The first level is at the very bottom this section will store my specialty items for the holidays or parties. For example, in July, I purchased my Christmas and Thanksgiving meats and desserts and appetizer and freeze them. It would get stored in these white bins. There are about four of them and it will stay here at the bottom of the freezer until ready to use. The space on the side of the bin is for larger meats and poultry for the holidays. I use an acrylic cover to section off this area and to provide a foundation for the second level. These white bins are great. They easily identify specific food items such as my specialty foods, chicken, snack foods, etc. Everyone uses their deep freezer for different reasons. My use is for overstock and replenish my refrigerator freezer when I run out of my staple items or recipes for my weekly menus. One of the main things I wanted out of my deep freezer is I wanted items to be easily accessible depending on the use. Keeping that in mind, the second shelf is easily accessible for snacks, for movie night, or just want something quick. Besides the food, snacks, and chicken bins, the second level also stores my ready-made meals, frozen vegetables, and bread. The ready-made meals are stored on the side. Each one is labeled with a date that it was prepared. I can store approximately 9 to 10 ready-made meals here for those times I don't feel like cooking. A separate bin on the left side stores my fresh vegetables that are pre-measured for dinner portions. I just grab a bag and go. Easy peasy.
The last and third level of the storage is where I store my baskets. Two hanging baskets and one regular basket in the center. Each will store my breakfast item and raw meats like beef and pork. The center basket stores my steaks, pork chops, and etc. Each is prepackaged, dated for two meals. I like how I have this set up. I can easily flip through and search for what I need, grab it, and go. The last two bins stores my breakfast items. One is for breakfast meats and hash browns. It's easy to grab whatever I need. The other hanging bin stores my pancakes, waffles, and biscuits. Each has cooking directions on the back of the package. Here's a tip. Remove all your food from those big bulky packages and boxes. It's much easier to get to when they're out of those packaging and it gives you much more room. Having my daily foods stored on the first level makes meal planning easier and the items are easily accessible and I have plenty of room to add more. to continue to the second freezer it is my refrigerator freezer is an upright freezer it's small most of you seen the refrigerator part of it when I prep for parties I normally put everything in there but the freezer is where I keep my daily items and those items are my ingredients for my daily cooking also I keep in there our big bulk snack items like you see here battered uh, fish chicken strips fries uh, large bags of, of vegetables that I put in there. So we're going to take a tour of that. Hopefully you guys get some ideas on how to go about organizing a small freezer refrigerator uh, for those who live in apartments or who lives in a dorm. So let's get started. So here is the refrigerator freezer. Like I said, it's an upright and it's pretty small. Most of you are familiar with the bottom part. That's where I do my party prepping. And here is where I have my daily ingredients and very large um, bulky items in here. So we are going to start on the door and we'll go through this quickly because I don't want to keep this open. We have the small servings of french fries here on top. Each of these is two servings and I equal those out. We have a date here and the amount. So we have those at the top. We have a bag of cabbage that I cut up. It's about four servings in that. We also have some cube cheese that I can easily get what quantity I want out of and add it to my ingredients. Then we come over here to the actual freezer. On the top shelf, we have soups that I um, made and put in these containers. Now these containers I purchased at Amazon. The large ones here for soup I think they were like $15 for about 25 um, containers with lids. And then we have my daily ingredients here when I cut up my yellow onions and my white onions. They're, the size is one cup and they're already cut and diced and ready for recipe. There are my peppers back there. We have green peppers, red peppers, and yellow peppers that's also cut up and diced for my recipe. These also came from Amazon. I believe they were like $8 for about 50 of these maybe with tops. So I really like these containers. Very economical and they hold up very well. Then I'm using this nice little bin here. I love these bins. I have them in my refrigerator in my kitchen. And this holds my butter and my fresh herbs. Now I freeze my herbs for later and I can easily get what I need out of there. And then we have 
butter in the back that are salted and unsalted. So the second shelf is our bulk, bulky foods that we grab on a daily. My husband loved these and he, he eats these on a daily basis for lunch. So we have the battered beer fish here. Now these little storage bags, I showed you guys this and shared it with you on Instagram. And so far they're holding up very, very well. The only thing I don't like about it, sometimes the closure that slides on here gets stuck or it doesn't go smoothly. But other than that, it's holding up very well. The food stay nice and don't have, I don't have any freezer burn on my food so far. So, so far so good. <laughs> but anyway, these are by Red Rocket. I purchased these from Amazon. I forget the price. And it was three large ones and three small ones. These are the large ones. Like I said, this is the fish. And my husband, he grabs these for, you know, a quick lunch or a snack or something. Here's the chicken strips that normally use in his salads. And here are the ears of corn. And then these bin here. Now bins in a small freezer, if you could find a small one, do very well in a freezer because it gives you a little bit more room and it also put like items together in the freezer that you don't have to search all over. And here are the three smaller bags. We have my fruit in here for my smoothies. So these are my blueberries. And then we have strawberries. And then lastly in the back we have lemon ice cubes. We have fresh lemon in there in uh, ice for my garbage disposal. So that's why I keep those. And Every month we'll drop those in the garbage disposal, keep it nice and fresh and the blade sharp. So that is it for this small refrigerator freezer organization. I hope you guys receive some tips on how you can organize your small refrigerator freezer and also a small chest freezer because not all of us have the room for those large uh, appliances and I wanted to give you guys some tips and some ideas on how you can still organize the small appliances for for freezing your foods just as nicely and as neat that you can find everything and I just love this um, how I have it set up everything works out well I have enough room I can see everything and um, I'm very pleased with it Okay, guys, give me some comments below and let me know what you think, and I will see you guys on the next one. If you love DIYs, decorating, organizing, and so much more, click the subscribe button and click the bell for new videos notification every week. Don't forget to visit my other social media platforms for ideas and tips to decorate, organize, or better your home living. Until the next time, my friends, smooches!